Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Well, I finished up my stream here about an hour, hour and a half ago, and um, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, but like with a lot of these kind of videos that I do, um, I'm just at a point in the blog making process where it's just going to be a lot easier for me to just uh, simply uh, talk about talk about what I want to say or just make a video about it than have to just type down this enormous wall of text or I should say enormous walls of text about um about the stream um just some of so this is gonna be sort of kind of like a like a like a stream recap but I just uh just again talking about a couple of couple of issues a couple of things that I did during the stream that kind of stuff again I'm mainly trying to do this mainly doing this to save uh time and space so it's easier for me to just talk it out rather than sit here spend all morning spend all afternoon trying to type down on my blog what I want to say so and then like usual um, I'm gonna have some music going in the background this is gonna be the angling loser arena of apprehension um, I played I think I played this album before in a few other videos um, it's just quiet laid-back I guess fishing music, uh, but um, sorry if the music is gonna be kind of might be kind of loud in some places. I had a I played an album or two during my stream that had this kind of problem too. It's there's no middle ground. It's either the music comes in loud, loud bangy and clangy, or real quiet, soft and gentle. So it just it makes it really hard for me to set a volume for. So it, this album here is kind of the same thing. It's. It gets uh it gets pretty loud in spots, but then it's like really quiet in other parts. So okay. So uh one big thing that uh, stood out during the um during the stream is this has got to be this has gotta be probably the worst worst raid boss I've ever done. Um, and stupid me, I, if I'd have known I was going to make a video about this, I would have left one in the tank, because, yeah, I can't get in, but, um, this has got to be the only raid boss event I've ever gone through where I have to have, uh, I have to have two different teams, but, um, I did remember to, Didn't remember I just gotta I gotta find it there it is so yeah two troops that at least in my opinion should not have even been in a, in a an event like this to begin with dust devil and sand shark which sand sharks can uh, devour and then dust devils I mean right off the bat they start with full of mana and they knock your first enemy to last position I have to actually have two different teams for this. If Dust Devil is not in... Here, let me, um... I'm gonna copy this to my notepad. I've got, uh... I've got the other... I've got a couple other teams like this. So... Like I said, I actually have, um, I have, uh, I have this one. This is for if Dust Devil is not in there, uh, but, uh, if Sand Shark is, remember, he can devour, so I've been having to use Umbraxis where he can silence the adjacent enemies, and then if I ever got to a point in the raid boss event where... I can't one-shot him with my uh, main guy. This guy is a good backup. And then, um... And I guess I could... Yeah, let me go ahead and add this. Let me see if I can find them. I'll just put them there. 
Then um, then there's they have him in the raid boss event. He's immune to silence. So so it this makes it very hard to have a one size fits all for this event. I've been having to swap between teams. I've been having to swap between troops. For uh, if uh, Dust Devil is in the is in the group, I are, by default I have an a champion at the bottom anyway, so I have to have him at the top, and then just move everybody else uh, move everybody else down one. So when the, the Dust Devil ability goes off, he gets knocked to the back, and things are the ship's righted. So and then again on Braxis if. You know, if Sand Shark is in there, yeah, I'm gonna need to be able to silence him. Um, but if he's not, if he's not, or especially if uh, Rock Spirit is in there, then I probably should have made a third version of this. I'll just, I'll take. We'll do it again. Then uh, I'd have him in there. Now he he can drain mana from all enemies, but I and I I could just easily see uh say Sand Shark getting a whole bunch of red and or brown mana beforehand, gets it full, casts this, and ends up devouring somebody. So but anyway, and then for uh, whenever I can I'll. You know, put Scion in there, but again. So, yeah, it became a very tedious event. Just having to swap, having to switch teams, having to swap guys in and out and all that. He's not immune to devour. Yeah, he's he's not so. Only my um, only my hero is immune to devour. So yeah. But it, it just it got to a point where again I said earlier I'm having to double up on the sigils just to get the damn thing over with. Bordok came on and he took it's a two-way tie for first. I'm probably gonna be dropping down like an anchor. So yeah, gonna be a rough week with this one. And then the second thing I wanna wanna talk about is a, a brand new PvP came out. And this time, all the kingdoms are now going to be very, they're all normal. They all have a hero in them. They're all, they're all the teams that they actually want to set up. Because up until this point, it was, um, all they, the way they did it is, um, all the troops that you have, that this player has, Alibaba, for example, would just be, um, randomly placed in there. Just random troops from your collection, uh, given the, uh, given the restrictions that your kingdom has. But now, they're, uh, whatever you attack, they're whatever you attack with. So, uh, personally, I find it to be a very bad update. That should have just been left with Central Spire, where there's no restrictions at all. I prefer the way it originally was. Because you, 
for the pretty much uh, farming, the you know, farming points and stuff is pretty much been removed from the equation. I mean, you got you basically have to bring your A game, no matter which kingdom you're in. Before then, it was actually you know it was pretty fun and enjoyable, you know, playing in Inner Kingdom and just farming battles over and over and over, you know, farming points. Can't really do that anymore. So every every kingdom, you're not going to be going balls to the wall trying to bring in your trying to bring in your best team. You know, good luck with this one. You know, good luck with this one. So it's a major ass struggle for uh, PVP points. Yeah, I'm already in fourth. Somebody already has over a hundred battles, uh, seven thousand points, seventy-seven hundred. So it it, it might have been done just to make everything more competitive. But I knowing um uh, knowing the player base well, if I know the player base well enough. In fact, I really don't want to spend the gems to do this. If I could find a few examples, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of Stellaris um, troops, uh, a lot of Takashaka. But again, I wish I could find some examples. Yeah, you got two Takashakas here. But uh, in some of these uh, some of these battles, I've had to fight multiple Stellarix teams multiple times, and always losing. See, um, Central Spire used to be the place where. Oh, how can I put this? If anybody's played fighting games at all. Or if any, you know, part of it, if you're part of the FGC, the fighting game community, um, you know, if you, you know, you play tournaments and stuff like that, the Inner Kingdoms, I guess, would be the equivalent of locals, you know, you know, going down to your local arcade, you know, playing the local tournament there, you know, and then if you did good enough, you know, you win some money from the tournament, you can make enough, or let me rephrase that, you can make enough money in those, in these local yokel tournaments to, you know, buy an air, you know, buy a plane ticket down to the big old, you know, big old monster, you know, evil fighting game tournament, you know, make it up, you know, get enough tournament winnings to get you a plane ticket and get you some money for expenses and fly down to Las Vegas for evil. Then you, you know, you go down here and it's like the big, you know, the big old tournament, the best of the best, the creme de la creme. That's how it, that's how this used to be. In Outer Kingdoms, and to me, I'll probably talk a bit more about them later, but I, I don't even count these. You, usually you only go out here for, uh, for, uh, silver marks, but anyway. The big ones for me was, uh, these three inner ones, again, just... Man, I, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, you kinda, you kinda get the idea, though, and you go here to Central Spire, where, you know, they're all actual, they're all actual pure teams and stuff, and this was like the evil tournament. Not anymore. It's like, every freaking kingdom is like a damn evil tournament now. It's like I'm gonna get not, it's like I'm not, I'm gonna get none of the teams that I want to talk about because I fought them all during the uh, stream apparently.
Yeah, that wouldn't be a very fun team to go up against. Two Tarasks. Yeah, that's... That can't be easy. That can't be an easy one. You know, and then that's something else. You know, God help you if uh, one of these inner kingdoms gets a uh, blood frenzy. I mean, this is this has got to be one of the toughest teams you could ever go up against. God help you, Paul, uh, if this is a blood frenzy and all these have fifty percent higher stats. You're you're up shit creek without a paddle, then. Best case scenario, actually, um, uh, one of my uh, regulars, Delson. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of talismans, but. Buy some bless, buy some curse. Cause that's something else too. A lot of these uh well he's got essence of evil, but still, yeah. A lot of them are gonna have uh Wanda Stars. Seeing seeing a lot of that. And you're going to see a shit ton of uh, elementalist classes in all these kingdoms. I mean, hell, here, um, I checked it out earlier, you know, Ruby Macaque. Oh, and there's a game bug here, too, by the way. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. up the Empress. Empress. Who's up, Ruby McCack? I mean, best case scenario uh, during my stream? You know, that's, that's something else, too. I, I, with the way it is now, I can't really experiment much. You know, two terrasse. I mean, you're pretty much gonna have to bring your best team. Bring in your best team, and this is for Brown. This is the best I got right here. Same Tarask, Wanda Stars, Elementalist. But yeah, I've seen um I'll track a Red Kingdom. But I've seen a still I've the word I've seen like three Takashakas on one team and then a uh, Wanda Stars. And uh, please believe me when I say that uh, it wasn't this easy, not during my stream. Ah. Yeah, something like this. I mean, Stellarix, uh, Diamantina. Sometimes I see multiples of them, of them in one team. 
especially uh, these guys here because they use all the colors. So you're going to see a lot of the, you're going to see these in all the inner kingdoms. Watch for that. See what we'll get after this. Yeah, 90, yeah. Prime example right here. Two Diamantinas. Um, one other I saw that I miraculously beat was uh two Stellarixes and uh two leprechauns. I was not expecting to win that one. Kind of shot myself in the foot there. Had to get the frozen out of there. See, this is one of those where it probably would have been a good idea to um, grab those talismans that I talked about earlier. Tell uh, bless talisman and curse. match or more comfortable doing that. But once again, this wasn't it wasn't this easy during my stream. I'm mainly doing this because I wanted to Yeah uh Nebula and Emerald and Gem Dragon got gems and cosmic dragons. So again, overall, I don't like this change. I mean, again, I haven't, and I haven't really looked at the uh, outer kingdoms. I never do. The only reason why I'd want to do that is just to farm uh, silver marks. There was something else I was wanting to say too before I forget again. It's a good thing I did all my uh, silver mark farming in the uh, early part of the uh, previous PvP. But and as per uh, Delson's suggestion, start buying uh, Curse and Bless Talismans and use them when you're going up against elementalist teams. Especially when they're using uh, Wanda Stars. Yeah. That's something else I probably should have all looked at too. I don't think the buffs have changed. I'd probably say some good ones would, uh, if you're using an elementalist, elementalist team, maybe double skull damage against stunned. They got one against poisoned. I think they have one against frozen as well. Uh, frozen, frozen, burning. The best one, though, is still, uh, 
this one over here. And that's something else, too. Getting the buffs now is going to be a major pain in the butt. Okay, unless it's going to be teams like this. Like, no hero or anything. Okay. But yeah, God help you if you uh, if you had to fight a full blown, a full blown player kingdom or a full blown player team, just to get a damn buff. <coughs> Hell. Oh yeah. Definitely not gonna be a fun time. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a broken record, but I, it feels like I'm, it feels like I'm missing something, or I should be uh, something else I should be covering. Jesus, there are you got we got people we got people that are already thirty five thousand, thirty thousand. Yeah, I think I fought this guy. I think it was uh, Central Spire. Uh, I probably got my butt kicked. Now, one thing is still unchanged. I wish you could just choose from your own, uh, your own list of teams and not having a do the Notepad Olympics, having a co having a copy paste stuff. This team here really isn't that effective. Effective overall, it's just your defense team is your attack team. So if I went in with um, let me get out of here real quick. I mean, the AI does a terrible job of um using the Gray King. I mean. He should only be, in this kingdom, he should only be using, uh, choosing brown. Not other colors. But apparently that ain't the way the, uh, AI works. So. But, anyway, um, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I... I'm hoping that I said all the things that I wanted to say. It still feels like I'm I'm missing something. So, so definitely, definitely got to get back to my blog. Got to get back to my uh, stream video. I got to get all that squared away. So I still have a busy morning ahead of me, possibly afternoon as well. But thanks for what. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.